Yes, in D. Third map ready to go, and so are we. You go. You go. Me go. You go, girl. Thank you, Take boys. it away. <laughs> you couldn't do it without your support. Day in, day no problem, out. No man. We'll be here. Bring like me it. down. You, you push me up. Sideways, left, right. Every every decision. It's oh, all over the place. And so are Mouse Sports running right through middle. Fast up through this smoke as well. Second flash keeps Dupree back and he gets hounded down by Chris J, who will wrap A. Madge is here at short side with a CZ with one. Device joins the party with a dink onto BMAS as well. Madge is firing up and Glaives run through smokes to get control of the bomb. Rops alone. And Device is on the box. He is ready to hit a shot. Jumping up with a flashbang. Rops. He's pinned. Device is falling okay. through the air. And he will Reasonable. close the round. Astralis take their pistol. Yep. I'm the cat. Jams. <laughs> that was good, man. What is the cat jam meme? I don't understand it. I'm just... Is everything going to be a meme, guys? It's not all about memes. I oh. mean, it is. It's like digital currency, basically, but... I mean, oh my God, meme coin, meme coin. We need to get on that. Or there's Bitcoin or Dogecoin. Right. The two big ones that we all know. <laughs> we all love. Yes. Dogecoin, of course. Mm. Yes. Me goes. Well, let's take a look at this round because Mouse, they've gone in with a force buy. And you might be asking, well, what's a force buy? Hugo, please tell me what is a force buy? When you don't have a lot of money, but you spend all your money knowing your buy is weaker than your opponent. What if there was a credit system in place in the game, Hugo? How would that work out if like your team went to economical debt? <laughs> I don't know, Trace. You'll have to you'll have to figure that one out. By yourself. I was just curious, man. In case not like... the Financial Times. I can't help you here. So how do I spend my Bitcoin in this game? I give it all to me. I'll give oh, it all okay. to in a minute. Don't oh, worry. Look I'll at Chris J, man. Oh, dear. It's Device Coin taking off inside of the B site. Wow. And the stocks are through the roof right the now. Points. Drops and Frozen left in the two on five. These late investors arriving late to the scene. And my, oh, my. They're regretting everything right now. The price tumbling. It's all chaotic. They're waiting. They're waiting until the perfect moment. They're waiting until it hits that magical number. When will that magic number arrive? They've held off. Yeah, Rops and Frozen looking to become angel investors as they cross this plane. Bullets streaming through the smoke. And that's where things start to get a little weird. They haven't left Banana. They don't probably feel very secure in leaving Banana. Albeit it's the only little bit of map control they got. There's still two members of Astralis floating around on A just in case they decide to get cheeky with it. Na 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 na. The market's crashing. Sell now. It's just frozen. Ten seconds, and Astralis might try and bankrupt him by killing him after time. Oh, he's having a great time, only for a second. Quick response from S. Uh, Thank goodness there was a stocks D. rose up. He could have sold and gotten rich quick, but instead he held. He kept holding, and that was his undoing there. Crashed into the ground and never to be seen again. Astralis 2 0 now as they lock in that anti force buy. That leaves no money on the mouse sports side. Now, Hugo, what is no money? No money is when there's no money. When you got that money, but it's gone. Never to return. Interesting. So that credit thing, you still haven't figured that out? No, I've got my people on the uh, the scene right now figuring so like it out, a, Trace. Like a layaway type plan they could do? Like, I want to buy Galil. All right. Oh, oh dear. Well, you might not need credit because we got cash for S-Tag. He's got three through the smoke. One appears on the other side. And the rest, they're probably going to die. It's Rob's alone, flashed out. Smoke fading, players behind, players in front. It's done. Good as you, good as you can get there. Astralis three and O. Yeah, we're gonna go and put that into a Salisbury hedge fund mutual fund now, and oh, it's gone. Yes, yes, yes. And so the full <laughs> investment comes on in for Mouse. They throw everything into this one. AKs out across the board, and on the other side, it's Astralis running a bit of a bonus round. Now, Hugo, what do I mean when I say a bit of a bonus round? Bonus round, Harry. That's when you keep your weapons from around you just one, even though they're probably SMGs and Famuses and not really that good. But you're gonna keep them anyway to save your cash. Here we are. Speaking of cash, cash rules everything around us except for Counter-Strike Global Offensive Whoa. players. In which case, it's Kerrigan takes down Dupree. S-Tag takes down Kerrigan in response, and cash still not in the map pool. Thank goodness. Oh, no. Watch your <laughs> mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that was so raw. That was, was so that, real. Was that the spirit of FM Pone? Is that how you say his name? I've never well, said that out loud. How are you going to talk about someone's spirit if... 
can't even say their name. Oh, oh dear, Magisk. He's a walking spirit in this one, and he's in their nightmares. But Bimas, he wakes up, and he's all good. He shuts it down. Chris is holding the flank. And, oh, you Chris, you have one job. They're already up and past him. S-Tag just leaps into the bullets. Two on three as that bomb goes down. Maus, they're feeling confident. They're feeling good. Chris J, he's telegraphed that he has seen men in the back line. He's seen some things, and now he's looking to do some stuff. But they've dodged it. Yes, Dogecoin again. <laughs> For playing Inferno, you might want some save coin because Astralis are out of there. Tails yeah. between their legs, running away. And and that's the whole thing here, Hugo. And and uh, you know what does it exactly mean to save? <laughs> Saving Trace. That's <laughs> oh god, I, it, this better not keep up. You've done one around. Oh, Saving me. Trace. Saving is when you do what exactly Astralis are doing. You know the round's lost, but you need your guns, and boy, are they expensive, so you run. Ah. There's no, like, airstrikes or anything you, like, call in, or...? Yeah, you get 25 kills, you get a DE tactical nuke. DE oh, underscore no. tactical? Well, that's confusing. Yeah, I mean, we I already have... The West tag's, like, one-fifth of the way there, then. No, you can't. Yeah, I guess. Right. He's got to keep it up. Good luck to him. Yeah, it's 3-1, though. Mouse sports on the board after some close early rounds. Man, I want to see this S-Tag guy just keep going. When's he get the nuke? But he can't die, right? Correct. Oh, dude. Okay, sick. Well, that adds some pressure. Oh, look, look he's on his way. He's on his way. So what he's does that mean way. exactly, Hugo, if S-Tag gets another kill? He's up to six. No, I don't think I don't think that's one that needs because then it's just you know you're up to six and then you get seven and then it's like you know ah, so you just, yeah, okay, the numbers yeah, thanks, just keep thanks. going man it all it all kind of Runs follows together. that like you know like unary binary uh, uniform scripture kind of vibe going on um, unary <laughs> urinary yeah uh, Chris J he's on track as he moves around in through the back line gonna rejoin yeah. the rest of Mao's over here at banana. They've got quite the situation to try and digest. They've lost Carrigan early on, and now he's got a lead from beyond the grave. Like some kind of spiritual general. As the rest of the gang group up, trying to hit B, S-Tag, and Glaive. These are names that you never thought you'd be seeing together, but here they are. Let's see what they can do as they look to put on a show. The nade finds great oh damage. Boy. Glaive holding on to his. And S-Tag, he's just embarrassed Glaive with how successful his nade was. So Glaive's now out for redemption, trying to shut this round down. He's only good for one, but S-Tag holds on. It's a two on four for Maus as they just about creep into this site. Ugh. And they might be able to get the bomb down. Rops has got aggressive. Now, does this just lead to his teammate getting sacrificed for the cause? Because that could certainly happen with no one here to watch over this bomb. Rops tries to swing and he does make quick work of device, but Frozen needs one of these fights to go his way and they don't. It's all left on to Rops in a 1v2 and he's not able to navigate it. So Astralis, they're straight in with a response, picking up a fourth. Yeah, and you know, on the back of that, you look at someone like Hugo and you expect an answer or better yet, you expect a voice question his way, but we're not gonna give you that. We're just gonna say that it makes sense here. Astralis, they've got the keys to the castle right now. Now, moreover, Hugo, I will look to you and I will ask, do you think that the sales have come out of Mouse Sports for that one? And I don't mean like their sales force and like their sales team. I mean like the wind in the sails. Uh, no, Trace, I don't. I think there's plenty more wind where that came from. It's in high supply it's right now. It's broken wind. Maybe the sails are broken, but the wind, that just keeps on flowing. That ke just keeps on blowing. The and Carrigan, wind keeps on flowing. he's going to take down Device at the top of the middle. I actually like that attempt at the two on four for Mouse Sports. They just didn't realize they were assuming Magis was on the banana flank because he took so long to rotate, scared of a lurker. And Device got flashed off by Frozen in the sight. It was a nice attempt, but Nice ain't going to get you any awards, nor series win. Oh, Ooh. my. We are flying. Quite the cam through. path. Yeah. Well, we're here now. Yeah, look. Solo B. Look Pull at that car over right here at B. What's he do? No, oh, Carrigan quick on the flick. And that's it. The B, the B bomb site belongs to Mouse Sports. It's that easy sometimes. Why don't they just do that every round? Yeah, dude. Hugo, just... why don't they just do that every round? No, we can't just keep asking Hugo, <laughs> man. He's You're got right. a lot of answers, but if we make him remove all those answers from his brain uh, all in one go, how is he going to have any more? Yeah, dude, when I say something, I immediately forget it. So you have to keep that in mind because <laughs> what were we talking about again? Interesting. Yeah, I think, yeah. You know, yeah. what were we talking about? I don't know, dude. No, Probably something. 
Oh, man. Well, I mean, uh, here's something we should be talking about. Second round on the board for Maus and a chance to keep it flawless. But you'll note they're risking a guy. They're risking Robs. And the reason for that is that the money isn't good for Astralis. If you take one of these guns away, that can make a difference in this next round. Robs is hungry to do that long-term economic damage. And one with matches seeing him, Rops will get one. And that's pretty much all he needed to get. Because now you look at S-Tag, he's got 6K. He's missed the money bags for Astralis. But does that mean he can afford to drop over? The answer, no. So you can still invest here. And you would have uh. like three or four rifles. But you're not going to have all the utility. You can make some sacrifices to bring the AWP into play. That's kind of what life's all about, is making sacrifices, you know? Yeah, but look, look at this buy. Device don't have an AWP, mate. He better, doesn't even have a gun. He's got a CZ as his sidearm, and that's all, he's, that's all he's running in this round. Rifles for everyone else, and they have been able to go pretty ham on the util, all right. but they've already lost S-Tag early on. That's a double-ended disaster right there as well, because he had all the utility for Astralis. Not all of it, but a bunch of it. Yeah, nice response though. Carrigan dropped with a swing of Glade. He'll go back in for more, but there's no flash. It doesn't matter. Chris is still blowing from the earlier one. Device does that, and Glaive keeps us up by two. Umass and Rops. So many a clutch, many a 2VX back in the previous map. But on a map like Inferno, it's going to be a lot harder to pull those shenanigans off. Not if Device gives up the kill. Walking through the smoke on B, B Mass punishes him. And that keeps Glaive at this site. He does have utility. Three mollies left for Astralis. They are just saving. Making sure they've got everything they need. And clearing the apartments to at least get information on this A bomb site. They might even flank this short play when it comes through. Oh, they split up. Uh -oh. Tag team going elsewhere. Smoke down, walked through. Oh, I no. Robs and Magic can drop the bomb. The back shown. He gets the kill. Does he know where Robs has gone? Coming back in through the boiler. Missed shots. And Robs with a chance now. Great. Back through a Palmas. Dupree's gone to the site to try and keep this one standing. And Glaive is Look looking to him. rotate as well. If Robs runs now, he might be able to have a chance to get towards B. Glaive is going to hear the footsteps of Robs running, who's waiting for ultimate aggression that won't come through. Time are ticking. If Robs wants to win this, he's got to go now. Right, everyone tweet Robs. Tell him to believe in himself because he was making the right call. Get those tweets <laughs> in right now. He's one B. Two, he needs them. Into the B site he goes. Glaive holding for the cross, and it's Rops oh. trying to run the gauntlet. And you guys didn't tweet fast enough, so ultimately, that's on you, Mouse Sports fans. Five on the board for Astralis. And that'll be the last time we take directives from Harry Russeldorf. Harry Russell might be okay. Man, that's a bit of a shame, right? Rops trying to play it safe, is ready for a peek out alt mid from a player at apartments, and it just never comes through. It, it's a little bit sad to see it fall apart like that. Also, when Rops tried to like get the trade in boiler, his like the, the tip of his barrel was sticking yeah. past the, the door. That's how Magis knew he was there. That's like the equivalent of like a shark's fin being above the water, you know? Like you know it's bad news, and you know there's only more danger underneath. So the yeah. appropriate thing to do is to shoot it with a famus. <laughs> Those really outweigh my shark killing tips. So Yeah, uh, I figured your 10,000 army of mosquitoes to fight a shark was a pretty weird, like, bout to begin with. But I guess, like... I'm breeding super mosquitoes that can exist underwater, man. No, that's America and Florida. Um, but that's a whole different topic. Ah. But now let's stay on topic. Nah, nah, nah. nah. <laughs> oh, what's that? What's that? So I looked stay at Hugo topic. again for answers. Oh, and okay. You. And I just didn't have any questions lined up, so... Yeah, really we'll make them multiple choice from here on out. His <laughs> nades into the top of mid. And Chris J gets obliterated by that nade. Rops as well. Up here in the apartments. Magisk on the other side. Rops is flashed in. Magis tries to what? drop down, but he dies on the final bullet from Rops, who's opened this round up and is looking to close it out as well. A quick double. And now this A site overrun by Maus. And when you get overrun by Mice, you normally call in the exterminators. But for Astralis, they take an extreme alternative and they just leave. They just give it up. They let it belong to Maus Sports. Three on the board now. So uh, I guess the the real consideration here, you know, uh, the kind of the thought process that I think needs some cl clarification by probably all three of us, but more okay. so just you two, um, would be like, how are you molding if you're not bald? What would you be? You'd just be salty? Uh, I don't know the definition of molding. Is it is that as simply it, being bald and mad. being mad? Um, I think they're, yeah, Bad something like that. Bald and bold. Okay, well. Yeah, something like that. I mean, but... Know. Maybe you get so stressed your hair falls out, Trace. Who knows? 
but you're not bald, so how are you? You're not really molding at all. Like, for example, molding in Brazil. All right, that's a thing, maybe. Or molding in Denmark, that could be a thing. Just saying. Where are they molding tonight? And what happens when everybody's got a full head of hair? That's just what I don't understand. There's going to be a multinational mold if Mal Sports don't break the fold here in this series, because right now Astralis are leading five to three. And only shooting mold. stars break the molding. That's that's yeah, what they that's say. That's where right? we were going. Yeah, All yeah. the glitters is gold. Ah. Well, the only thing glittering right now would be the top of the flames on banana. Deep Molotovs from Astralis. They're going for some banana control here. Bit of a jump spot from S-Tag. He's been caught out in the open in this series, or at least in this map already. Oh, two still at the top of B. They're trapped. They're looking to fight their way out. Carrigan. Oh, <laughs> oh that was cool, though. Great stuff from Glaive to get out of there alive. Even jumps past them. He won't waste his Molotov. So safe are Astralis with their utility. Is that what like is that what like CS when everyone just hits like the god tier looks like? Like you all just fire one bullet to trade kill each other in one go. That was like something out of the Matrix at Top Banana. S tag gets dropped, but then immediately Glaive comes in with the trade and Carrigan never even realizes that his life was in danger. And so now into this four on four and a temporary lull in the action as everything slows down and it's not a lull in the action that's a lull in the action it's two l's and one u instead of just one l u l yes 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 nailed that one i had to think it through i thought you meant u l l i was like no <laughs> no what i'm not saying really what we're saying here but a big Please. b hit here from mouse sports and they're going to be storming through device hiding out pretty well in the back of sight surprise beam is you're not alone, my friend, and neither are you, Rops. What else does Device have for us stored up? Looks like he's not going to need to use much more out of the Think Tank because Glaive and company have shut this one completely down. B is closed. Holy moly, red beans and ravioli. I can't believe you bought that one back. Man. It had to be you done. You bought it back. That was a good moment to use it. Wow. It's Iconic. a real blast from the past. I'm kidding, man. But yeah, B, that didn't really work out. I mean, they tried to be aggressive, but ultimately, here we go. Back at it, six to three, Astralis. They've got all the weapons now. They've got all the grenades now, but still only one kit, even though everybody's loaded to the gills, like a shark. Thanks for clarifying. Just want to make sure that everyone knew sharks had gills. Like I mean, as we all know, sharks are the only gilled animal out there. So yes, that's why they it's can... just really good at holding their breath. Ah, and while Bmas don't hold your breath too soon because they've pushed down the bottom of banana. S tag. He's looking into the wall, playing anti flash for Glaive, but it doesn't look like a B play. So this nifty little setup that's been thrown in is never going to see the light of day. Here comes the top mid push. Dupree in the corner, playing a bait and switch with Device. Now sports decide, we don't want anything to do with Long. We don't really want to go there, and especially not with Rops opening up. Onto the player down in pit, the Deagle oh, doing no. more damage. This could spiral wildly out of control. Dupree throwing his nade, long arm down into the pit. Has the response, Carrigan and Dupree are playing catch. What's going on? The nades do a bit of damage either way, but it is Maus with the man advantage. Carrigan gets info as well. The players are coming Ooh. in from short, and that there is a blinder of a shot hit onto Glaive. S-Tag and Dupree, this is a horrible moment of time to find yourself in for Astralis, where you just have to say they're only pistols, but they've actually done it. Like, we can't go for this. We cannot justify playing this round out. And they've just essentially, not ecoed because there was some investment, but they've just beat us on a partial buy in a very dominant fashion. Yeah, and Rob's open with this scout as well. What a weird weapon to get up short side and just take a kill into the pit from. So great work from him, but... Yeah, that's just Inferno, man. Like, get a couple of kills in the right place at the right time, and the CTs are going to have a really tough and rough battle getting back in. Boosted up was Rob's to see the head above the bike. Magis loses his life, and a follow-up onto Device puts Mouse Sports on the board again. They just keep it going, running it back. No matter what weapons they have in their hands. And this is similar to the end of Nuke. The last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rounds have all been won by different victors. Ever since the 3-0 lead for Astralis, no one has won consecutive back-to-back -back rounds. Which is crazy. That is crazy, Trace. Yeah.
little bit of a pause here. Astralis looking for the tactical variety of pause. And basically, whoever you see that streak there, that's perfectly. Yeah, that's, uh, perfect. It's not ideal for either side. No, but whoever wins two in a row suddenly grasps, uh, grasps the economy back in their favor. Obviously, it's far more important for a team like Astralis on the CT side, where not only things are more expensive, but you have more things to buy. Um, but for Mouse Sports, yeah, like right now, if they if they break Astralis' money, they will likely win the half. Assuming all things go to plan. They've actually got some cash left up as well. That's the favor of the T-side. Those bomb plants and the rounds that you do lose. Deep banana control. That's a great nade. There's another one as well. Carrigan might want to get out of there just in case there's a third. And while we know there's not, Mouseports don't have the luxury of that information. Deep smoke down and Astralis control banana. If they want to make risks, considering this A-site has been lost in the past, they can rotate one off. The danger of this is S-Tag is leaving. Oh, he's going to come back. But either one of these two players that leave... It doesn't matter because there's no smoke, there's no Molotov, and so Estac can't afford to die without falling back into the site and, and hopefully putting up a kill at least. Bombs going up B, pressure in mid. Mouseport's not making it clear where they're ending up. Strauss are whittling away with these grenades. But given the fact that S-Tag got mollied at top B, he's now playing Coffin. So another like retake setup perhaps for Astralis on B, but that's a big risk. Yeah, four deep for Astralis on A. So if they do commit to this, if Mouseports do commit to this, which is hard to say they would, considering Ross will be the first one to fall, oh you know what? Kerrigan's going to go out the same way. I don't think he expected Glaive still in that position. He tries to repeat, but he just wasn't ready for the fight. Now the bomb comes back up. Dupree spots it. Only for a second. That should be info for Astralis. They're going to double peek. Great face device. Trades both. And he's going to put Mouseboards down in a one-on-three. We've seen some excellent rounds for Frozen in this series, but 18 seconds for the clutch. He's already off to That's save. It. And this is the money once again playing a huge factor in a game like this, in a map like this. And Astralis... Force his hand. Seven rounds on the CT side. Glaive, excellent stuff. Doubles down the middle. Forces mouse balls back to B, then back to A, and then they get double peaked. So yeah, and it, that double peak right there is just intuition, right? You see Astralis. They both swing at the same time. They know that hey, the bombs been spotted. It's still in a very vulnerable location. What can we do about it? And this is the outcome. Device with two. Glaive, sorry, buddy. It was either you or me, and it looks like it was you. Yeah, I don't think Astralis care about dying at this point. They're all about the round wins. It doesn't matter what it takes to get there, but another number on the board. A few left of the half. Orp out for Carrigan. He was scouting in the last, and he got naded out down bottom B. No orbs for Astralis. And again, that's the money more than anything. If they win this round, they can grab a free one, potentially. Position permitted. Carrigan holding B. Everyone else has long for free. This is great control for Mouseports. Astralis are watching it from the rap, but Dupree just left. Oh, oh Chris has heard the first steps. He knows he can call. Cool. Guys, if you want to go B, that's an option right now, but his back is contaminated as well. Glaive is here. B Mass has his attention. Oh, this is all over the place. Chris dropping Dupree, uh, Dupree in the library. Glaive is still hanging around spawn. This kill is everything, and Chris has got it. B is open like an, uh, for free for Mouseports. It's only S tag here, and he's dedicated to watching the CT spawn because of this flank. Like a can of tuna, I think, is what you were going for. Yeah, I was going to uh, say, oh, wait. What's going on here? Um, what's going on in A? Because S-Tag is now held down the B plate. Oh, my. Oh, goodness. Maus, this was a five on three. And then you had S-Tag giving a back rub to Rops over in the apartments, <laughs> and he just snaps his neck, and everything's really brutal. And now Carrigan have frozen. They're left looking down the ranks. Everyone else oh, has Carrigan. abandoned them and left them in a two-on-three clutch. Now, Carrigan has given me, personally, oh. some great moments from this position on this map. Can he do it again? Has the AWP in hand. He's got frozen this time to help him out. Time ticking away. Very little time for Astralis. They need these kills, and they need them quick the gap getting closed yeah. now the peak from carrigan oh, but the no. first shot misses frozen delivers at oh, least defusing. and the time is too far gone frozen with two and that there is mouse sports picking up a fifth round keeping this one ticking over 
Deary me, I was running out of breath there. Astralis, no money, not really. S-Tag is rich, but no one else has really got anything they can bring to the table. And this whole play, Chris J's maneuver into CT to catch two timings back to back. And then you talk about timings. Look at Robson, S-Tag. You don't get more unlucky than that. Yeah, that that's device actually killing Robson and Palmas. S-Tag got a big lockdown double kill on the B-bomb oh, site, yeah. playing towards CT from Ruins. They ran right past him, and he peeks late uh, and mows him down. That should have never even been like a chance, but Astralis assumed it was clear or assumed they were at the back of the site, I guess. Not Astralis, Mouse Sports. Again, doesn't matter. Words. Seven to five. Astralis with another pause. And the money is yeah. broken, as <laughs> you say. I hate words to tell you now. this, but the whole reason we're here is for <laughs> our words, okay? Yep. Certainly not our shining personalities. So well, luckily, you've got a voice for radio. Oh, that's brilliant, man. I got a face for radio as well. Or whatever else you have to face in life, I guess. Wow, man, that's very profound, Trace. Thank you for yeah. slaughtering that normal, uh, that normal what saying. What goes around is Putting all your, around. All okay. around, yeah. <laughs> well, let's see, man. For Astralis, it might roll right off the tongs here. This is not This is not a good buy. They've got Deagles. They've got an M4, and that is the extent of it. That's not me underselling it at all. Why well, is a 5.7 on claim? So I guess I undersold it somewhat. But already, that M4 is removed by BMAS. Mouse Sports commanding spot to be in. They're in this five on four. There's nothing really over on the Astralis side. This should be a Mouse round. As long as they can keep things tight, keep the trades together, not have any weirdness go on in smokes like in the last round, this should be okay. <laughs> you think anything is guaranteed, Harry? Maybe you're right. There's only one man at B right now. Rops is lurking. There's a mouse in the house. And Magis with a D. There's one, can't double it. Quick uh, repeat from B Mass. And oh no, Mouse don't know. They had the B site and the lock and key. But Rops with a further kill in apartments has kept Astralis here and kept Mouse Sports guessing. They want to see if Rops can find more, at least info, if not value from this position. Device is pushed, but it's a mission to nowhere as Mouse Sports have that B site. Still unaware of it. And now Rops is dead. Now they got to go. Now they got to run. They know there's a max of one in B at best, at most, and there's none. So this is a plan for Mouse Sports. But Astralis on a round that they're broke anyway. They might just give this a go. They might have a look in. Chris is low. Plant eventually coming in. Very long stall here as Mouse Sports clearly didn't think this site was taken for free. But they'll take it for free. And Astralis, a couple of guns. Get out of there alive as you give Mouse Sports six. So what do you think of this for a rebrand? Here okay. you go. You give everyone on Astralis the same haircut. Sure. And that's pretty much where the idea starts and then ends. Okay. <laughs> What's the idea? I really because they're like they're like one unit. They're like a hive mind, you know, and you want them to, to you want to sell that. It's branding. That's what I'm talking about. Branding, the big B word that we all they, shy do away from. They cut the Astralis logo and like shave it into their head. No, I don't think. Cut, no, 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 no. They don't. They don't have to do that because at that point, it's like yeah, that's a little too far. Yeah. I just think you know they could all benefit from like uh, I guess shaved head is the easiest one to go for. Zai Wu did it. Shocks, I think, did it. Did Shocks do it? Yeah, some a lot of players did. A lot of Vitality players did. Ents did. Ents did, yeah, and they're, they're doing great in the Pro League, so yeah, some maybe of them. that's the key. Well, Hugo, you've never shaved your head. You wouldn't understand the freedom yeah. that comes with it. But as someone who has, let me tell you, it is the way to live. Why have you got all your hair back then, Harry? It just keeps growing, man. I can't stop it. <laughs> I've tried multiple times. Shaving it on the daily. Default for Mouse Sports, a very spread out round for a change. And a lot of that is the economy of Astralis being absolute whack here. It's just an M4 and an AK. Device boosted up, falling off. Dupree in B with the AK. Set smokes towards that site. It's not a commitment though. Dupree hearing through. See many a play from him in this position. Not today, because Mouse Sports, they don't want the B site. They're going to go double back into long. Smoke down, Glaive kept out. He can spam with a USP, but to little value or avail, it's Mouse Sports in middle. 
Emas is still lurking for B aggression. Dupree could give it to him, giving away one of the two guns in play. There's still four on A as a result, and Emas goes deep. Devices kill drops in the meantime, up in apps. Frozen does clear Glaive in the corner, but that's only the USP, and they begin to wrap B through the spawn. Madge is trying to put a stop to them, and now out from CT is Dupree. We oh. saw S tag with a double in the ruins in the same position. Dupree looks for that and more. He's done some damage, but B Mass is in the sight and spamming the smoke. Great work, dropping that one player, holding on to this entire round. Round, and now it starts to fall through the cracks. Mal Sports in a three on two. Yeah, device up through Banana, and that kill would have made everything happen for Astralis, but it goes the way of Mouse, and with it, likely the round S tag left in a 1v3. And he might have to make that horrible call to just give this one over, give over a seventh. And if you're Astralis, you know, you're still eyeing up trying to win out the half at eight to seven. Man, we promised you a good series, we promised you a close map. And boy, oh boy, are Astralis and Maus both delivering on that promise right now. We are all tied up moving into round 15. Couldn't get closer. Physically couldn't. You look at those numbers, they're not the same yet, but trust me, I played this game before, at least twice. That six eventually, when that little red line ticks down, boom, not a seven yet, now a seven. So is it, is it like Whoa. digitally closer? Is it physically closer? Kinda, I'm having a hard time kind of trying to quantify I that. I thought so I that, covered all my bases there. Yeah, I honest. thought you did, I just, but also there's just that little worry, that little like question in the back of your head. Hugo usually has the answers, but in this notion, it's on you, Harry. Yeah, it is close, right? Can't get closer. Split down the middle. The right now it is. And the half. Yeah, 1-1 one, one in the series, 7-7 seven, seven in the game. And now this round decides who wins out this first half of play. Only that one round advantage, but if this series is anything to go by, Whoa. one or two rounds can make all the difference. And Carrigan knows that better than most. He gets stuck in over at the top of Banana. Glaive on the receiving end of Carrigan. I love how they get B-Master to become an entry fragger, but Carrigan's still here like, no, nah, I'm going in first. I'm going to be doing the work. And he often does. He's been getting a lot of these top B picks, but picked back by device is B-Master and Carrigan's fallen as well. Mouseboard's tending back into this A site with two on the defense, set up in the pit with a crossfire. Long is open, but that's not a worry. Mouseboard smoke it and they walk into the stack. Here they go, that double, that nade into the pit. The double nade has done a lot of damage onto oh. Magis, but through the nades, through the shrapnel, he's put up a double. It's all onto Frozen, but this guy has delivered us so many clutches. This one, you're asking a lot of him. What can he do? There's the first peak and the last peak that they needed. S-Tag there to nail it in Astralis. They do win out this first half at eight to seven. Narrowly, they lead the charge moving into the second half of Inferno, but this, this series, every single map has felt so damn close so you do not want to miss what could be the last half of play here there's still a chance for more we're not holding our breath let's see who takes it in just a second Die around this neighborhood. We used to sell a double pills, young and misunderstood. Tell me what is changing from your point of view. A smaller circle, but the range is some deja vu. I recognize my future, and there is nothing with you. Unless you turn your photo around, success might come a future. But unless you analyze in depth, that we're steps away from death. A thousand possibilities act on a Johnny Depp. For real. Cause we're alone sometimes. Trying to know what part of brought us down in here. I don't wanna be stuck in countless towns. I just wanna smile and run away from here. I swear to God, man, I just wanna be a model for my brothers. Hey, hey I just gotta work until I'm on the covers. Hey, hey, I just gotta work until my sons are covered. Hey, hey, I just wanna make it proud to be my mother. Wish we could learn how to love our mistakes. Straight from the jump and away for an answer. Wish we could smile when you spark nowadays. Change our reactions. You just gotta love yourself. You just gotta love yourself. You just gotta love yourself. You just gotta. Sick girl, I cannot teach anymore. Hope you shine.
show some faith in me, not in not like anyone. Cause I am over, being sober with myself and I'm with you. I am over, being something I am not. I'ma turn it to the man now. Man hey, now. finna get my money, ain't no hand down. Hey, hey, finna be a legend like I'm playing down. Play hey, down. I ain't gotta focus on my friends now. Huh? I'ma turn it to a man now. Man hey, now. finna get my money, ain't no hand down. Hand hey, down. finna be a legend like I'm playing down. Play hey, down. I ain't gotta focus on my friends now. Yeah, you just gotta love yourself. Yeah. You just gotta love yourself. It's time to stop or start over. That's only because we're trying to jump into the second half of play, ladies and gentlemen. If I startled you, good, I got your attention. Turn the stream back on, we're ready to go. Almost. Mouse Sports, Astralis, toe to toe. Right here as we look at the second half of play on the last map of this series, nonetheless. But this one has come down to the wire several times in the series, but now it's an eight, seven difference of score. We look at Astralis for a T-sided answer. I'm joined by Harry and Hugo. And Hugo, take it away. Yes, indeed. Right up B for Astralis. This T-side pistol is full of utility grenades everywhere. And bullets in the face, or at least of Rob's. He's going to drop so quickly. Double with, stack towards the back of B. With that one kill coming in, A is empty. Astralis don't know it, but, but A literally and figuratively is empty. Look at it. It's beautiful. Look at that. Nature has returned. Man. Chickens roaming the middle. Oh, let's go see the chicken, shall we? Just Can we go in a little bit closer? Slice chicken, it's not real. Look, man, they're all just bypassing it. This is how humans should be living, man, in tandem with wow. nature. Look at this. They're just letting it be, and no one's harming it. I'm going to try to do that commercial. I've been there since the beginning. <laughs> yeah, but no one, moment. no one is disturbing this moment. chicken, and that's beautiful. Because oh. now they go into the A site. <gasps> oh, stay away from it. Stay away from it, Clave. Come on, no startled it. Reaction. Nades go in. Nades Free go round. in. They get the A site. And if you're hearing this as mouse sports, you're already thinking, well, guys, we screwed up. Um, this might just be a save and quite an anticlimactic pistol run, if I do say so myself. Feels too good to be true for us. Feel lied to almost. Like, we were guaranteed a good pistol and, like, probably really close. A lot of different frags, but. I'm hoping that, like, maybe Device, because he's a nice guy, can, like, usher the chicken away from the explosion. Because humans are back, and they are going to ruin the day at A. Uh, Device, you feeling up to that challenge? He's not looking like it. It'd be quite the gimbal. Or gamble. I guess either way you want to look at it. It's off-tilted. Man. This is a bit of a sad round, isn't it? This is uh, kind of what we got from Mouse Sports <laughs> phase the other day. Where's uh, the chicken gone? We're looking for it. I didn't see it. Oh, my it's, goodness. It, it's going to die. Oh, no. Sorry. Oh, Harry. no. How will you we built a recover? bond with it, man. We built a bond with it. S-tag at least, like, evens the kind of tally out a bit. Yeah, man. A human life for a chicken life. An NPC life at that. I'll definitely take an NPC's life. I've killed <laughs> thousands of NPCs in my day. Yeah, man. I mean, hey, like, you're finally away. And that's the thing, right? With that round being so odd, like, you don't really ever see Inferno rounds play out like that. Um, and now this means that Mao's like, they save a bunch, and most of them didn't even get tagged, so they get a pretty cheap reinvestment. Still, I don't think that's something you're like, yeah, guys, we did it. We hold on to the pistols here if you're Mao Sports, you know? Like, you, you're, a party party. No, you're pretty upset, but at least you bring a deagle into this round. And with nice, well-placed flashes like Carrigan and Rob's demonstrate before our very eyes, you can still snipe and chip away at the opposition to try and get back into this game. Now, Device is alone at the top of B. He's looking to tango with the two players here. And they say it takes two to tango. Well, there's three, so that's an awkward one. Say two's fine, but three's a crowd. And Device, he's not looking to be a part of all that. So he's just hanging out here, waiting. While the rest of Astralis pressure middle. Yeah, 
It's not the mid to be, it's the mid is free as mouse bots don't contest it. Long smoke replaced by Carrigan, funnily enough. Just trying to keep Astralis out of it. Device, oh, how does he get away with that one? He's on two points of health. He's going to hit the site. He, if he finds Frozen, this is it. This is B lost and this is the round done. But he jumps up and gets Deeg down. Frozen with a chance. Repositioned to the back of the site. They should expect this. S tag's clearing it. And Frozen just gets run down by the Glil. Now. Well, Carrigan's already here, so he might make a bit of a show, might try and find something, but at this point, the round might just be done. The de uh, delayed, denied bomb plant for a short bit of time. Carrigan coming through. That smoke creates a bit of a one-way. S-Tag shoots him in the legs, and now Mouse Sports really losing their chances to retake. They're here anyway. Flash high. Madge is blind, and Rob's can't even get through the smoke, so they get out of there. Nothing to do with it. Astralis on double digits and Mouseports again left to save. Heard a bit of typing there. Might just be that timeout. If you're Mouseports, it would make a lot of sense considering double digits now reach for Astralis. There were six saves in the first half in 15 rounds. Well, we're already up to two in the two rounds of the second half. Not every day that you see that. Robs, did he get the kill? We'll never know. Get your answers in, hashtag ESL Pro League. Did it happen? That's the mystery we're posing to each and every one of you. Do we think he got it? We're about to find out in just a moment when we cut back. So you need to get your answers in now before the landlines close. Of course, any calls made after may still be charged. And he did, he did. If you answered yes, then you are the best. And since the lines, you know, we didn't really give out that number, perhaps we do it now. Plus four, four. If you read out my telephone number, I swear, I don't even know what I would do. I'd have to discontinue my phone. It would be chaos. <laughs> It'd be funny. Hey, but why like, do you think everyone wants to call you, guy? Because the internet is a hostile environment, and All I've right. had to learn no, that the not. hard way, okay? No, it's not. People are so nice. People are nice. Even the people that are spamming Twitch chat, they're nice too. You just gotta learn to be accepting and loving, Harry. <laughs> okay, I'll give out your mobile number. <laughs> and you can show me how accepting and loving you are when you get 20,000 phone calls a day. You know what? I might open up another phone line just to have calls. That would be cool though. That's a good idea. Go right so now. Cool. Yeah. I'll call my provider. And then I'll call the principal and you're you're going to detention. Detention now. <laughs> detention. Isn't that a prison like Alcatraz or Azkaban? No, it's a little less like they have you know, land center and stuff. So. All right. Anyway. It's just pistols, funnily enough. What a su surprise. What a shocker. Another eco for the mouse sports. Oh, dear. Off the boost and into the bullets. Glaive finds Rops in the wall and Magis does the same towards B. Only one man and one man alone. It's frozen. Stuck in place, stuck in time, and stuck at the back of the site. Device hasn't got a Molotov to burn him out, and with that smoke, he can cross. Device is ready for the shot, and beautiful work. Astralis with another B take. And Mouse Sports, hmm, they might save. I don't know. B Mouse has got armor, and he's got no chance of winning this round. So, what's more important, HLTV rating or armor? You decide. He's going to go for a bit of both. Fighting and then running and then fighting again. He can't find a good one, though. Dupree's already out long. Oh, there's a chance. And Bemis hits it. Perfect. AK. And now, I was going to say you run, but he wants more. Nah, they're going to kill him. It's fine. I don't know about that. I don't think they're anticipating him to be stuck around this long. S-Tag as well, looking to come in. BMAS has had a great read on where these players are going to be appearing from. But eventually, his luck might run dry. And S-Tag waiting in the library. Learning from books, learning from experience, and he's looking for this kill onto oh. Bmas, but he puts up a third. Lovely. So gets away with the AK, makes that a very expensive round for Astralis. Like, you know, let's make that clear. Those kills are not without repercussion. Astralis weren't just hunting him down, like, yeah, let's take that away, and then we'll mess him up into the future. No, the buy was coming in for Mouse Sports anyway, so that's a free AK for the CT side. And now you've had to reinvest on three players on the side of Astralis. That actually takes tease them up to have their money ruined if they don't get a victory in this first rifle round. So the implications of chasing that kill down could prove to be pretty huge, depending on the outcome of this one round right now. This is it. Almost. Anybody typing in chat in this moment is a noob. So don't type. Let's see how long we can make it last. 
First one to break is the biggest noob. 11-7 to 7 currently. We're going to see the boost in the back of the site. It's going to be Chris J that they entrust with that. Let's silence them four. Should get a couple of dinks off right here. On to Devi. As the start trade is imminent, though, frozen with a nade, and now they know where he is from the boost and from the trajectory. He doesn't have any way to get out of here alive. No time to smoke. He goes for the fight as the molly burns, and Magic Blind takes him down. Oh, look! It's a save. What a shocker. Oh, what a surprise. Yes. Welcome to Inferno. You must be new here because Mouse Boards, they are experienced in this one. They're going to have to hold back and uh, give up their guns. Yeah, I do think that the, the Mouse Sports Inferno might need a little bit of tweaking because this feels like the, the situation we see them in so often when they play this map, right? Um Unfortunately, like in the way that Astralis are playing though, it's just like, unless you want to take the risks of going for information in middle where Astralis will punish you, there's not a lot of answers here for mouse bots, right? You can you can easily hindsight it and go, oh man, they should be 3B. But then right. if they go 3B, you get abstropped or, or Astralis come out middle. And, you know, even if you play things right, it's all down to your anchor players winning fights. And yeah, Chris opens up, but then nothing further. And yeah, it's just, I don't know. We see it in every game nowadays. Especially when the T's know what they're doing, and boy, does the device know what he's doing. It would appear so. If you look at the resume, you look at the plaques on the wall, you look at the trophy cabinet. It's going to tell you that Astralis have seemingly figured something out about this game. Funny that. It's weird, but it all adds up. The math checks out. We're crunching numbers. Astralis there crunching CTs. An all power on Carrigan. Four in a row for Astralis in this second half. Aids down Banana. Kablooey. Nothing though. Device is further back behind the Molotov. Really looking for a kill. Hoping something comes his way. The jumps. Don't want to give too much, uh, too much of a chance here to Device. He's not going to be able to get one though. Far away. Still have Astralis with two in-apps as well. And a boost up in CT. Mouse Sports playing a little bit safer. This position usually gets a couple out of it. Yeah, they're probably considering the save at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Too forward thinking or sorry. Predicting the future. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see if they pull the trigger on that one. Right now, Astralis looking to pressure all the main choke points, right? They've got banana, now they're looking for top mid. And the reason why this is so deadly is it makes it very, very hard to commit to rotating players anywhere because essentially both of the main avenues on the map are no longer in your control. And so this is forcing Mouse Sports to have to play very reactively to what Astralis are bringing to the table. And that's why so often we see them like, you know, losing two players and then the round coming to a close. But Carrigan and BMAS took a peek into middle and they saw that there was no one there. So they rotated Carrigan around early into this B site. And that, that could be an answer to this problem that Astralis oh, posed okay. down with the first but there's the follow-up Carrigan does get bested immediately after and they know that Chris is here he tries to disappear but they do find him and for Maus it might have to be no don't say it but that's the ridiculous thing. Maus had 3B, as you said. They get the two opening kills in the site, a five on three, and immediate trades for Astralis. And somehow, some way, they're, they're in favor. BMAS, he wants to save. His mind's telling him no, but his body's telling him yes. And at the same time, he's still here fighting because you're just losing round after round. The AWP is going to send him down, and now Rops is gone. Can't hang around in the banana. And like right there, Mouse Balls, they did everything perfectly. They, like you said, they got the mid info. They rotate a man over, but Astralis win all the important duels. Device double da doubles down with the orb. What an excellent round for Astralis to, to, to walk into a stack site, to be down like that, and to still come out on top. Dear, oh dear. Great work. Building into this T side, there's no stopping these Danes. Flawless so far. Five up and many more to find. Well, when I say many, maybe only three if Astralis have their way. Mouse Sports with a double orb on this CT side. Back to B is Chris J. Carrigan's got his on the short side. Astralis one apps. They've not already been too present here, and the wallbangs are doing good damage. BMAS low. Oh, it could finish okay. it, and it does. Even Almost more two. to Rops, who gets hunted down. The bullets slow him, and Dupree finishes the job. Quick reposition for Carrigan. Can he get more than one? The smoke is in. They can go through it, but they opt not to. They've already got the man up. They don't need to throw bodies at Carrigan. 
as he waits to body them. Good flash, pushes him back, and Chris has killed one of B. The bomb's still back in t spawn okay. They're just looking to battle tooth and nail into the site, and now they're considering the bomb. Now they're realizing the error of their ways as one of them might have to go back. Ah, uh, we've seen this before. Who do you reckon's getting the blame for this? Who do you reckon's getting the blame for leaving the bomb? Is it S-Tag or is it Magisk? Or KRB? This is smart though. S-Tag can just wait here forever. Oh, don't worry, they've mollied him. I was gonna say it. it could have been good. It's a hard spot to clear, but Chris is going to do it with the orb. Oh, boy. And now they're wondering, wait, where's he gone? Yeah, this isn't like... Well, it is pretty disastrous, but at least Magis <laughs> knows that they were both the A. He's going to try and run the gauntlet into this B site, but Frozen is already here. Luckily enough for Magis, Frozen is armed with a pea shooter, so he might be good to survive the crossing. Frozen gets the info. They know that he's on B now. Magisk actually going to look for this kill to try and make it a 1v1. And a 1v1, he shall make it. As now that bomb plant comes on in. Magisk versus Chris J. Molly forces him forward. Chris going with the peak and a missed shot. Magisk lines it up. The 1v2 puts a 14th on the board for Astralis. And he shows us that they do not want that AWP. What do heck was that all about? What a round. It was all over the place. Bombs and spawn. People out in the A site just hanging out. And mouse sports. Well, a disjointed reapproach to what was, you know, a, a, a gamble at just full rotation over to B. Yeah. It doesn't pan out. 14. That's going to be a backbreaker there. Mouse sports are going to be feeling that one. The main reason Astralis didn't get the bomb is they didn't expect such success from the wallbang, finding basically two kills off of it. Oh dear, this time the shots won't connect, though. s gets one, he's traded. Device keeps things even at the top of B with an opener there, but he's down to two thanks to the grenade. He'll fall out in case there's more to be found. But yeah, in that in that round, Astralis just got the kill so early, and so they just kind of pushed off the back of it, as you should do on Inferno, and then left the bomb. Happens to the best of us. Glaive goes back. He doesn't want it to go down again. And Robs, he will go down. Pushing middle at the perfect point. No one's considered it. Astralis just cleared it. Magis is dead at the top of B. Robs on the flank. Device is low. And it's clean up for, Ma uh, for Malsports. Their first CT round. If there ever was a time for a comeback, boys. Yeah, we've we're seen it before. I mean, we might as well just start overtime now. <laughs> no? No. And in a weird sense, it was having to go back for the bomb that made that B push all disjointed and everyone have to go in one at a time. So Astralis, they're having a problem that literally every team I've ever played in in matchmaking has, and that is that no one wants to take the bomb. And so Glaive's decided, as I've had enough, if you're going to make me go back and get it every time, I'll just bring it from the get-go. You drop he it does. like somewhere significantly closer, perhaps. Yeah, but it's just because, right? Like, like we've been saying, with how Astralis are playing this out, they take top mid, they take banana, and then that allows them to go anywhere. S tag, Sonic's utility school, man. What's it teaching them nowadays? I don't know, but he's getting a C or a D for that one. Yeah, <laughs> that's a passing grade, man. I don't think that's a passing grade. It's like he did remember to use the Molotov tick. Did it land? X. And that's like 50 50. And that's halfway there. So that's true. If you round that up, then what do you have? 100%, mate. And that's an A. That is an A. So S tag, man, you've passed with flying colors, in fact. <laughs> here's, uh, here's this example of Astralis going back to what we were just saying, though. Taking this top mid while maintaining banana regression. This is a pretty standard default. It allows you to take any map control at a moment's notice. You can throw in a B fake. You can throw in an A fake. And with device actually moving away from the B site, this looks like it is destined to culminate in A. Astralis just committing with the smokes. So Carrigan should know what to expect. And a mm. quick shot to back off. He gets one on the long side. Estag can't see him come through the motor smoke. He is holding for it. Carrigan running through the wide side. So he won't get spotted. But now he needs to put up some kills. Oh, he can't cover. Bmas dead in the pit. Carrigan, two missed shots. And that might just be the missed round. Rops in the pit. Still standing strong. But Dupree drops on his head and keeps Astralis in a three on two. Rops could have made that even Stevens on the retake. But now Milesport's a man down. And they need to go for for it. Yeah, they can't afford to be Shia here. Ah, yeah, they've just got to do it. And that's what they're trying to do, right? Grouping up over towards long. They deal with the first. Dupree dropped. 
Now they move in for the kill. S-Tag down here in pit, playing the timing, playing the contact with Magisk, and there's one. S-Tag spraying oh. away, and he locks in match in series point for Astralis. 15 on the board for the Danes on the back of S-Tag. Mouse Sports going to be kicking themselves. That was their chance to keep this going a little bit longer. And it all started on the back of the fireworks show, or fiasco, rather, from S-Tag, but eventually they just run out. And a couple landed shots there for Kerrigan would have changed the pace of that round, too. Have no fear, S-Tag is here. Great T-side for Astralis, right? You just can't doubt them on a map like Inferno. Nuke may have been quite the calamity, quite the comeback for Mouse Sports, but Astralis sent a message at the end of the series, and they look to end the series. Rob's cross, Dupree didn't realize. Oh dear. Might not be done just yet. Man up, swinging out his B mask, gets spotted, Glaive backs up. He could just group and hit B right now in a four on two, and it would be favored to Astralis. Magis grabbing the bomb. S tag's already peeling back as well. Temptation striking Astralis in this round. They're still waiting for Apps aggression as Rob's was pushed in the halls, but he's fallen back after that kill. Almost in middle. Doesn't want to get lost by the old Pikaroo. Old Pikaroo. Not to be confused with the old Pikachu. It's distant cousin. Evolved. Ooh. Maybe even holographic. Oh dear, Robs is rotating B. Mousebots think it's a B player play because that makes the most sense, right? Astralis a man down with not a lot of util. Just hitting that B site and a four on five. Pretty favorable usually, but that's in this case the wrong read. Astralis are sneaking up smoke, uh, sneaking up long with no smokes. And so Mousewolves don't know what's going on. They have no information right now. Carrigan is inside of A and the library smoke coming through now. Oh dear, alarm bells are starting to ring and Mousewolves are starting to spin back towards spawn. Rops on a rotate, 20 seconds, Astralis need to go. Yeah, in they go. Magisk on the front line, looking to get past Carrigan, but he's not going to give up easily. Fighting oh. tooth and nail to keep Mouse in this game. And Beamass down in the pit, helping out massively. There's just no time for Glaive. Oh. As Mouse put up a ninth, they just about keep their heads above water. This game's still. got legs on it after all. Look at yeah. the money. They still need six in a row, but you hope that a freebie is loaded in the chamber, right? Astralis, no real cash left. And... I just had an idea. Can't you tell? Sorry, we just turned the lights on in the studio. But anyway. 15 for Astralis. These Danes fighting one of their Danish brothers. You can imagine the brother giving it everything that they've got. But if this were to end on some deagles, man. Heartbreak City. Yeah, this is what Mouseports need to get under wraps, right? Astralis forcing, they're giving it a go. They're gonna go for a fast one as well. Hunt down this long player, Carrigan. Oh dear, back in with a missed shot. The smoke is a problem and he's gonna run away from it. They hunt down the players in the okay. site. Dupree with an opener and it's just Beamass left. He gets overwhelmed as well. And Astralis holding their W keys flat firmly on the keyboard might just be pushing it over the line. Oh. Yeah, this is wild. This is pistol armor. Mouse Sports, they know that they should not be losing to this. So they're trying to save face, but they're also trying to save Inferno. Getting past the Deegs, getting past the Tex. It's proven to be a challenge, but Frozen has helped keep things in a doable spot. Two on three. As they move in, down in the pit, Dupree lurks. In the sight, two players for Astralis. Frozen, man in the front. Carrigan backing him up from behind, and here comes the push. Down goes Frozen, oh. and Carrigan is cancelled out as well. Astralis, they get it done on the force by. They win this series over Mao's a hard-fought battle from 